Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a look featuring the Maybelline Nudes Blush Palette. Um, I just picked this up not too long ago and I have been loving this. Um, it is, I'll show you what the nude palette looks like. I did do a tutorial on the nude palette and that this features more of like your browns and neutrals and cool tones. Now, the look that I have on today is the blush palette. And this has like your rose, rosy colors, your pink colors. Um, I would say it's kind of comparable to the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. Um, it's got a lot of pinks and more of like your champagne rose gold colors. Now I did do my face makeup and brows and everything off camera, so this should be a pretty short video just on the eye look. Um, I really just wanted to focus this on the palette and show you how you can use it. But if you're someone that really likes pink colors, then this is going to be a great palette for you. It's very affordable. You can find it at your drugstore. If you want to see how I achieved this look with the Maybelline Blush Nudes Palette, then please keep watching. Okay, so first I'm going to be priming my eyes just to make sure that my eyelids are all the same color and that my shadows have something to stick to. Then I'm taking this white shade in the palette and I'm going to be packing that all over just to set the concealer that I use to prime my eyes. Taking this dusty rose matte color from the palette, I'm going to be placing that in my crease and I'm just going to be working that all throughout and blending it. Um, I found with this palette that the shadows are not as pigmented as I would like them to be so I had to keep building up the color. So just make sure that you're layering that color to what you feel comfortable with. Then I'm going to take the champagne rosy pinky color and I'm going to place that all over my lid just to give my eyes some shimmer. Then I'm going to take this darker mauvey pink taupey color. I'm not good at describing colors, so whatever that color was in the palette, that's what I'm taking. And I'm just going to place that on the outer V of my eye just to give a little bit more depth and dimension. Then I'm just going to be blending this color all out to make sure there's no harsh lines. Then I'm going to take this dark grayish color with a little bit more of a stiffer brush and pack that on the outer V again. And I'm just going to go with this lightly and build that color up. Like I said, these colors are not that pigmented so you really have to build them up to get the color desired. And then I'm going to be blending that all out again just to make sure there's no harsh lines. And then I move on to my winged eyeliner, and I was not impressed with my winged eyeliner at all in this video, like, no. I just was not happy, it did not turn out right, it looked terrible, so we all have those days. Don't judge. And sorry for the bad camera angles, I really do need to adjust where my camera angles are and yeah. Oh, there's my face. See? Did not like the winged eyeliner. They did not turn out even. <laughs> so yeah, now I'm going to be curling my lashes just to get them prepped for falsies. I did record myself putting falsies on, but it didn't turn out right, so I just edited that out and put falsies on off the camera. Um, I do plan on doing a separate video on false lashes. Um, but then I'm going to take that dark shimmery color again and I'm going to place that on my bottom lash line. Just pack that color all on the bottom to give it some depth and dimension. That way it's kind of even on the bottom as it was on the top. So I'm just packing that in with a flat brush and then I'm going to be going back in with the next color you're going to see pop up and a pencil brush and just kind of blend that all out and make sure everything's soft and blended. Yeah, that color, that matte color that we used in the crease earlier. Then I'm taking this shimmery white shadow that we used to use as a base um, and I'm going to put that in the inner tear duct and I'm going to highlight my brow with it just to weaken the eyes up and to um, lift the brows. 
Then I'm just taking a white eyeliner, putting that in my waterline, not doing anything too dramatic or smoky, so I just wanted to keep my eyes fresh and awake. And then I will be putting some mascara on my lower lashes. Then I put this Ulta Matte Lip Cream on it, and this did not turn out good either. I did not like how bold the color was, and one side of my lip is way off compared to the other. So yeah, that is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like I said, work with me on the camera angles and the lighting. I'm getting it all down in practice, so don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.